How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Rogue Soul by Soul Game Studio. I'm working through the different Soul Game games leading up to Swords and Souls 2. The game's been in development a long time and looks really, really incredible. They've done some awesome things with these like very simple flash game foundations that they used for their world building. On your way, rascal. Stop! Thief! Oh, I'm the thief. I'm gonna be the bad guy. I guess there's like a theme in these games that you're just not the good guy and the sole driver, you're like on the run a few minutes later, now you're a thief and then, I, I don't know, maybe that's a consistent theme. <laughs> real, real star? I'm, I missed what he said. Something about, something bragging about being a thief, I think. Wanted. Boring hood. Who's this guy? Wanted for 5,000 solons. I can do better. We'll see who the thief is around here. So I guess we're just we're just trying to be the top thief. Kidnap that kid. That's a good thing to 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 steal, right? Get lost, kid. Oh, we're gonna save the kid. So we're not all bad. There's like there's a core of gold uh, somewhere down in there. Greetings, gentlemen. And then catch a bunch of symbols. I think I think it's just like a bit of a runner game. But then I guess along the way, maybe I'm also going to be like shanking people or like stealing things as I'm running. Rogue Soul, run for reward. Loot. Ooh, or custom. I guess I probably have to unlock things. You got to collect loot to unlock these guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't... Oh, he's got he's carrying a sword and stuff. For a second I thought maybe it was the rogue... No, sorry, the soul driver. Because thanks to Rogue Soul and it being Soul Games, I always accidentally use Rogue and Soul in the wrong places when talking about this series. Hopefully I don't screw that up too much. Okay, flee across the streets, fight guards, and steal treasure. Yeah, so you are just running, but then also you're going to pummel some people while you're doing it. Parachute. I'm, I'm a little surprised that parachuting is a real option. Can you just pull shoot right away? Just like while I'm in the middle of, middle of running? Look at that. Look how good that is. F key to slide. Under the gate. Nice and simple. What if I don't slide at all? Oh, okay, you just start kind of pushing up against it. Make sure you don't fall on the hole. Ooh, is that going to count as a loot? Spearman. Gotta jump to avoid. Defeat all spearmen. Oh, attacks are performed automatically, so it's just a matter of don't get hit. Oh, that makes it nice and simple. Kind of duck around a little bit to not get hit. Whoop. Okay, you can back up into a guy to hit him. I like I like springing off of things to to avoid attacks. Armor protects you from one strike. Oh, first I gotta pick up armor and a parachute. Oh, you get multiple parachutes. I'll be fine then. Whoop! That was the wrong button. It's weird that it introduced parachute second. But that the lay on the keyboard anyways simple mistake oh interesting so I have like a little bit of an inventory there it looks like a diaper whoop oh, I'm not sure if I actually needed to use that there oh dope you actually are like upgrading your guy on the run and he's managing his inventory while he's on the run he's very good at what he does pick up I should just sit here and if I don't think the next stage of this is gonna spawn until I hit okay I could just sit here and not play the game and just rack up infinite amounts of money. <laughs> Pick up the daggers and throw them. Okay, so sometimes you gotta shoot down enemies. Now and again, that's gonna be probably required. Wow, he really fucking hucks those daggers. He spears them real efficiently. This guy's deadly as all hell. I wouldn't want to mess with him. If you give a flower to a soulie, she will offer you some double jumps. Use them to reach the cup. Oh, so I have to... I have to, like, bribe someone into, like, be a little flirty to get some double jumps? Oh, that's crazy that double jumps are limited like that. Oh, so it's just survive as long as you can? Seriously? Oh, I got to keep the armor. Hey, there's, like, a, I don't know, a Crocodile Dundee type guy hanging out in the back there. What did the was that just the dagger or did I also pick up a wanted sign with that? Hmm. There's no way. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get back to that guy. There's a lot going on here right now. I uh, <laughs> I have I have a lot to think about to try and manage. Oh yes, I managed to get to her. 
this is this randomly generated because this seems like very involved intricate level designs but I think it's I think it is random whoa that was sweet oh cool I like chaining together things it's so tempting to just double jump at every possible opportunity when it presents itself oh okay so there are set and yeah, so maybe it's not randomly generated then, if there are, like, particular zones. Oh, crap. Flimsy bridge. It would also mean you can, you can plan... Oh, what? Oh, I've moved my hand to the wrong part of the keyboard there. Shit. Ah, so I just gotta try and get 5,000, I guess, is my goal here? Man, there's a lot to try and keep straight. You're like, oh shit, I gotta try and get that parachute. But then also there's some daggers over there. Oh, there's a thing that I gotta duck underneath. Oh god, I'm getting stabbed at. It's pretty frantic. It actually took that franticism that I felt existed in the Soul Driver and really built on it and expanded it. Because there you're weaving through all this traffic trying to keep all that straight. And here, same thing. It, completely different setting and everything. But it's like that same sense of urgency that they've done really, really well. So let me look at my loots then. What have I looted? 1% complete on my loots to straw. Dive in the hay, that's the loot that I have is the straw. That's terrible. Oh, so you don't find loot specifically. You complete missions to find loot. Oh, interesting. Hmm, <laughs> lots to do. Man, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of little missions here. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it a little a little bit better this time then. That was a sweet jump attack. Oh, I can't climb back up too late. Whoop! Oh shit. I didn't have any armor or anything, so I was just instantly killed. Oh. Oh, so the, the there are checkpoints there. That is technically still further than I made it the time before. Interesting. That makes a very big difference. This is a slightly different level layout though. It has changed. I'm like confident in that. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get me again so easily. Ooh, swingy crate. Oh, I think I collected the armor and immediately got hit by the swinging crate and lost it. Oh, fucking flimsy bridges. Oh, I, I can catch up to this guy in no time. I even got new loots. Play for five minutes. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that's not that exciting, is it? Ah, I must have killed enough knights to, to earn something now. Nice, nailed it. No need for a stupid, shitty bridge. Should really make better use of these daggers. I don't use them at all. Ooh. Oh, there we go. End of another zone. Not too shabby. Oh, right, but it just picks right back up in the next thing. Gotta get my fingers back where they need to be. Oh, so many parachutes now. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm toast. I'm toast. How did, I don't know how I screwed that up so royally. Oh, do I have a limited number of continues? Oh, I need to start being much more cautious, don't I? Oh, there was so much treasure up top there that I didn't get. Funny that they only shoot in one direction. Once you make it past these guys, they're like, ah, well, I only had the one arrow. I had been practicing so much, I was confident enough in my shot that I thought I would be able to get him, no problem. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, I managed to fuck. Oh, there was so much ducking and dodging and stuff going on there, I was feeling real good about it. Shit, I only have the one more continue. All right, this game got way more harder. Eight stalls used, 25 enemies defeated. Oh, beginning of the current zone. Or restart? Restart must be like undo everything. I probably get to keep my loots, but that's it. Oh man, it's put me back into zone two. I don't even, it doesn't even get to put me back into three. Okay, I didn't screw up the parachuting this time. Made it across the ginormous pit. You gotta make sure you're saving the parachutes, though. Ah, I've got people shooting at me while I'm trying to parachute around. That's making my life a lot trickier. Hey, that place has windows. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he windowed his way out of there. 
that was just peculiar. That I'm pretty sure that was the first instance of Windows existing in this world. But uh, so many things to hop up uh, over. <laughs> uh, just barely making across these things. Ah, oh, he's closing. They're closing gates on me. They're wising up to my to my strategies here now. Hmm, maybe if we don't leave the gates open, he won't go through them. Oh, he fucking sniped me right out of the sky there. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Oh, that was a game over, though. I got a bronze. Bronze distance. Mm, only considered a good start. Not great. New loot. I got, got my trophy. That's about it. 15% till I get the first guy. Stats. Biggest price on my head for this distance. Best combo. Man, there is a lot of different things to keep track of. I like how much this game keeps track of things. It's very promising. Oh, man. Oh, oh, look at these different enemy types that eventually are going to show up. No, it's very promising that a very simple Flash game like this put the care into keeping track of all this and, and making such an involved game for, like, a full Steam release title. Like, I can only imagine the amount of effort and time and details that are going to be put into it. Oh, cup, cup, cup. End armor, end armor, drop down, drop down. Why didn't the dropping down work? Ugh, I wanted both of those things. Oh, he got fucking stabbed hard, didn't he? Oh wait, so it's only two continues again. What do I what do I gotta do to get a reset on the continues or to add more? Hmm. Well that's not gonna be it. Dying sooner than previously is not gonna do anything. Oh, I did it again. I went too high and I missed the cup. I'm too good at jumping. I like how it just seamlessly rolls into the next zone there. Like they could they could have paused the game and put you through a title screen to be like, oh look, here's all the stats on the things you did. But it it the game just moves on. And if you really did care to check on that stuff, then you can go back and take a look at it. But otherwise things just keep rolling, and I think that's very smart too to move it forward that way. Hmm. I gotta stop putting my fingers in the wrong places. They just... DFG is a weird set of three. So I feel like I keep accidentally putting that out of place. Let's see, I've changed the, the, the layout of when... of which buttons to use. Hopefully that makes a difference for me here. Alright, zone one's gotten quite easy. I also just got like several... several different loots there really close together, so I'm curious what it was. Ooh, cool big windmill. Neat that I'm still discovering, like, new little segments in in zones that I've, like, been to quite a lot at this point, that you would think eventually I would have seen it all and that they would save new things like a big windmill like that for a, a next area. Ooh, I shouldn't be alive. Ooh. That is a lot of comboing together of killing things. Bam! Oh man, flying straight through two zones. Back to back, no deaths. Let's keep this shit going. Oh crap. I really should have tried my strategy of just letting that tutorial menu run on for like a really absurdly long time and just milking, milking the points through that. Seeming increasingly like a good strategy to me. Oh, yeah, just barely got the armor. Nice snag. Oh, <laughs> that was a solid flip. Just barely dodged the arrow there. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, slide through, slider through, buddy. Yeah, just take everyone down with ya. They don't stand a chance. Oh, you even got the big guy. It is the first time we've ever even seen one of those things. Ugh, sweaty hands. What the hell? I'm not ready for this to move on to the next thing now. Things just got real intense. Oh, he fucking dashes at ya. Man, I don't really know how to deal with that. What's all the new loots I got? 20 spearmen, 15 piles of Soblon stolen. Poem, perform a swan dive with a flower in your hand. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I get to actually read the poem. I dive shouting, yeah, from below, dear hay. You're waiting for me. Hope you'll always be. It's probably, is that yay instead of yeah? Yeah, me, be? 
It's probably supposed to be yay, hey, maybe. I know poetry. Shit, I guess we continue then. See if we can keep this going. Oh god, there's a lot of things all lined up trying to kill me all at once. They're really pulling all the stops here. They. I guess this guy's probably racked up a pretty good tab at this point. Oh, big devastating axe men there. They were kind of hard to avoid, especially when there's so many of them clustered together there. Whoop. Ah, oh, come on, there's just so many arrows coming from so many different directions. What, what was I supposed to do there? Fuck, oh, it was a game over. I got a new loot. What was my newest loot? 60 soldiers defeated. Crap. Oh man, and then I would totally have to start over again. Well, I think that's probably plenty of me getting hammered on here. I do want to try out the other games in the series. One of the games I have left to play in the series is actually Rogue Soul 2. So I feel like I have a good scope or a good sense of what this game is now, and then going into the sequel I'll be able to see how they built on it, things like that. Cool, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're into it, if you want to try it for yourself, I'll have a link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.